With our parts completely tooled, we may now proceed to editing and adjusting any tooling that requires it. We'll do this by clicking on our Edit Tooling button. Click Edit Tooling and click on the desired laser path to adjust. The laser cut screen will appear, allowing us to change cut condition, change direction of the cut, or creating items such as stops or no beam compensation. Note any adjustment made in this screen does reflect on your part. We will now revert back to the standard settings. Click the Approach Settings button. This allows you to change the length, radius, and angle of your lead-in. Note any changes made here also apply and show on the screen. We can also change the type of pierce output in your G-code. Clicking on the cut path yet again allows us to go to the laser cut screen and choose our escape setting. In here we can once again create the length, radius, and angle of a lead out. If we remove any length from our lead out and create a gap width, this creates a manual tab in our parts as well as creating a stop or head up movement after our part is cut. Clicking on the laser cut yet again gets us back to the laser cut screen. You may also use the delete tooling to delete tooling off of the screen. Next, click the Add Wire Joint button. In this option, we can choose an offset from the corner, type in the width we want to see for our wire joint, and place the wire joint upon the part. Each will create a gap and new lead-in for that cut. We may use our 128 steps of undo or the Remove Wire Joint button to remove any unwanted tabs. Clicking the Move Pierce button option allows us to click and drag any pierce on the part and place it in the location we feel it needs to be. Clicking the Optimize Pierce Positions button automatically moves all lead-ins to the most optimal position for the least amount of head movement. Clicking the Change Condition button allows us to change the condition on a part of our polyline. We choose a different position and an offset both in and out of a corner. Clicking in the corner, you'll note the change in color. This reflects the cut condition change that has appeared due to the offsets both in and out. This concludes our edit tooling features. Once the part is completely tooled and edited to your liking, we will then proceed on to tool sequencing in our next lesson.